Welcome back. I hope all of you have learned what I taught you in the first session. Right? Last class we studied what is meant by a solar system. The solar system consists of the sun, eight planets, satellites and some other celestial bodies known as asteroids and meteoroids. Today we are going to learn about eight planets, our satellite, the moon and also about meteoroids and asteroids. Together with them, we are also going to study what is meant by galaxy and also about our universe. Okay? So let's start. What is meant by planets? We studied the definition of planets last class. Okay. The solar system consists of eight planets. The solar system consists of eight planets and which are there? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Our solar system consists of eight planets. And dear students, all these planets of the solar system move around the sun in a fixed path called the orbit. All the eight planets of the solar system move around the sun in fixed path called the orbit. Look at the solar system all of you please. Sun and the eight planets. Mercury is the first planet from the sun. Mercury is the smallest planet. Which is the smallest planet in the solar system? Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system. Second is Venus. Venus is also known as Earth twin. Why? Because its size and shape are almost similar to the Earth. Okay? Venus is also known as Earth's twin. Both Mercury and Venus have no satellites. Okay? Third one is our planet, the Earth. Fourth one is Mars. Mars is also known as the red planet. Okay? All these four planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are known as inner planets. All these four planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are known as inner planets. Why? Because they are very close to the sun. And these inner planets are made up of rocks. Okay? And Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are known as outer planets. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are known as outer planets. Okay? Why? Because they are very far from the sun. Okay? And these outer planets are made up of gases and liquids. These outer planets are made up of gases and liquid. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Which is the largest planet in the solar system? Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. And Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system. Dear students, Saturn is famously known as the ringed planet. Planet Saturn is famously known as ringed planet. Why? Because the Saturn has the most extensive rings and its rings are visible from the earth. Saturn's rings are visible from the earth. So it is famously known as ringed planet. But all the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune have rings. All the outer planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune have ring rings even though Saturn is famously known as the ring planet. Okay? The solar system consists of eight planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are known as inner planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are known as outer planets. Okay? Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system and Saturn is famously known as ringed planet. But all the outer planets like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune have rings. Next we are going to learn more about our planet 
the earth the earth is the third nearest planet to the sun it is the third nearest planet to the sun and it is the fifth largest planet in the solar system earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system children this is about the shape of our planet our planet is not a our planet earth is not a perfect sphere even though it looks like a blue ball it is not a perfect sphere so what is the shape of the earth the earth shape is geoid the earth's shape is geoid geoid means an earth like shape what is the meaning of word geoid geoid means an earth like shape why it is called why the shape of the earth is called geoid because it is slightly flattened at the poles because it is slightly flattened at the poles look at the earth earth is slightly flat at both the poles both the poles what makes earth a unique planet our planet earth is a unique planet it's a very special planet why because earth is the only planet known to support life it is the only planet in the entire solar system which is known to support life conditions favorable to support life are only found on the planet earth so earth is known as a unique planet and the earth is neither too hot nor too cold earth is neither too hot nor too cold we have a right temperature we have a moderate temperature in the earth it is neither too hot nor too cold why we studied that in the first session the sun is about 150 million kilometers away from the earth so we have a moderate temperature here third is it has water and air earth has water and air and fourth point is the air has life supporting gases like oxygen it has water and air and air has life supporting gases like oxygen so students why earth is known as a unique planet earth is a very special planet because conditions favorable to support life are only found on the earth earth supports life second is it is neither too hot nor to cold we have a right temperature we have a moderate temperature here third point is earth has air and water the earth has air and water and the fourth reason is the air contains life supporting gases like oxygen we need oxygen for our existence right the air contains life supporting gases like oxygen so earth is known as a unique planet our planet the earth is a unique planet the earth is also called as a blue planet earth is also known as a blue planet why because 70% of the surface of the earth is covered with water earth is also known as blue planet why because 70% of the surface of the earth is covered with water only 30% is land mass okay when viewed from the space our earth looks like a blue ball why because 70% of the earth surface is covered with water or 2/3 of the earth surface is covered with water okay look it looks like a blue ball isn't it why because 70% of the earth surface is covered with water next is about the moon the moon is the only satellite of planet planet earth 
planet earth has only one satellite and that satellite is the moon the moon is the earth's only satellite what is meant by a satellite satellites are heavenly bodies or celestial bodies which move around the planet satellites are heavenly bodies or celestial bodies which move around the planets we studied the definition of planets in the last session right planets are heavenly bodies which move around the sun and satellites are heavenly bodies which move around the planets moon is around 3 like 84400 km away from us moon is around 3 like 84400 km away from us it appears so big moon appears so big because it's very near to the earth okay but in reality moon is very small compared to the earth moon is very small when compared to the earth but it appears very big because it's very near because it is very near to the earth moon is the fifth largest satellite in the solar system we studied that our planet earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system and our satellite the moon is the fifth largest satellite in the solar system and you know neil armstrong was the first man on moon neil armstrong was the first man to step on the surface of the moon followed by edwin aldrin okay next is about two types of movements of the moon moon has two types of movements like earth moon also has two types of movements one is the moon moves around the earth one one is the moon moves around the earth second one is the moon spins around its own axis which are the two types of movements of the moon one is the moon moves around the earth and the second one is the moon spins around its own axis the moon moves around the earth and it also spins around its own axis look at the screen this is sun our planet earth moves around the sun and this path is called orbit and moon the satellite of the earth moves around the earth and also it spins around its own axis okay the moon the satellite of the earth moves around the earth and also it spins around it spins around it rotates around its own axis i hope you understood the two types of movements of the moon one is the moon moves around the earth and the second one is the moon spins around its own axis okay what is the fascinating fact about moon is the same side of the moon faces the earth at all times the same side of the moon faces the earth at all times we can see only the one side of the moon always why because the moon takes same time to complete its movement around the earth and it takes exactly the same amount of time to complete one spin around its axis okay the same side of the moon faces the earth at all times why the moon moves around the earth in about 27 days within 27 days it completes one orbit around the earth it takes exactly the same time to complete one spin around its axis so the same side of the moon faces the earth in all times we can only 
see one side of the moon always. Why? Because it takes the exactly the same time that is 27 days to complete one round around the earth and, and it takes same time to complete one spin around its axis. Okay. Next is about asteroids. Asteroids are also found in the solar system. What is meant by an asteroid? Asteroids are parts of a planet which exploded many years back. So what is meant by an asteroid? Asteroids are parts of a planet which exploded many years back. They are found between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter. They are found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Children, this is the orbit of Mars and this is the orbit of Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. And these are asteroids. See, these are asteroids. Asteroids are found between the orbit of Mars and orbit of Jupiter. This area, this area is known as asteroid belt. Why? Because most of the asteroids are found here. Most of the asteroids are found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Okay? Asteroids are parts of a planet which exploded many years by. And asteroids are found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Okay? Next is about meteoroids. Meteoroids. Okay? The small pieces of rock which move around the sun are called meteoroids. Meteoroids are small pieces of rocks which move around the sun. Okay? Look at the screen. This is an image of a meteoroid, a piece of rock. So, a meteoroid is a piece of rock which moves around the sun. Okay. Next is meteors or shooting stars. What is meant by a meteor? Children, listen. Sometimes when the meteoroids come near to the earth, and tend to fall on it. They tend to drop on the earth. During this process, due to the friction with the air, they get heated up and burn. Okay. It creates a flash of light in the sky. And that flash of light in the sky is known as a meteor. Okay. Meteors are also known as shooting stars. So students, what is meant by a meteor or shooting stars? You know what is a meteoroid? Meteoroids are pieces of rocks which move around the sun. Students, sometimes these meteoroids come near to the earth and tend to fall on it. During this process, due to the friction with the air, they get, meteoroids get heated up and burn. It creates a flash of light in the sky and that flash of light in the sky is known as meteors or shooting stars. Shooting stars are also known as falling stars. Okay, these are shooting stars. Okay? Shooting stars. Meteors or shooting stars or falling stars. Okay. Next is about meteorites. What is meant by meteorites? Meteorites that reach the earth before burning up are called meteorites. Meteorites that reach the earth before burning up are called meteorites okay i hope you understood the difference between meteoroids meteors 
and meteorites okay this is one of the largest meteorites reached on the earth okay i hope you understood the difference between meteoroids meteors and meteorites okay next is about the galaxy what is meant by a galaxy a galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gas gases galaxy is a group of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases okay there are millions of galaxy in the universe of different shapes and sizes there are millions of galaxy in the universe of different shapes and sizes and our earth is a part of milky way galaxy so what is meant by a galaxy a galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases and our earth is a part of milky way galaxy there are millions of galaxies in the universe this is an image of milky way galaxy our earth is a part of milky way galaxy okay our solar system is a part of milky way galaxy according to the ancient indians milky way galaxy is like a river of light flowing in the sky so they named it as akash ganga akash means sky and ganga the river ganga okay according to the ancient indians milky way galaxy is like a river of light flowing in the sky so they named it as akash ganga okay we studied that our solar system is part of milky way galaxy and ancient indians named it as akash ganga akash means sky ganga the river ganga why they imagined it to be a river of light flowing in the sky okay and our last topic for today is the universe the universe millions of galaxies together form universe we studied what is meant by a galaxy a galaxy is a system of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases a universe consists of millions of galaxies of different shapes and size it is difficult to imagine how big is our universe scientists are still studying about our universe and different galaxies we we have no idea about all the galaxies and also about the size of the universe Let's have a quick recap of what we studied today. First, we studied about eight planets. The inner planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. And the outer planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Next, we studied about the shape of the Earth. The shape of the Earth is known as geoid. why because it is slightly flat at the poles then we studied why earth is a unique planet earth is a unique planet earth is not like other planets it's a special planet why because earth supports life it is neither too hot nor too cold it contains air and water and it its air has life supporting gases like oxygen then we studied why earth is known as a blue planet the earth is also known as a blue planet why because 
70% of the earth's surface is covered with water. Then we studied about the satellite of the planet earth, the moon. Moon is the fifth largest satellite in the solar system. Then we studied why the same side of the moon faces the earth at all times. The same side of the moon faces the earth at all times because it takes exactly the same time that is 27 days to complete one movement around the earth and one spin around its own axis. So the same side of the moon faces the earth at all times. Then we studied about asteroids. Asteroids are parts of a planet which exploded many years back. Then we studied the difference between meteoroids, meteors and meteorites. Meteoroids are pieces of rock which move around the sun. Meteors are flash of light that we can see in the sky and meteorites are meteoroids that reach the earth before burning up. And then we studied about galaxy. What is meant by galaxy? It's a cluster of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases. And our earth is a part of Milky Way galaxy. Okay. And last we studied about the universe. Universe consists of millions of galaxies. Okay, you have to do few activities also in your notebook. First is draw solar system in the notebook. You have to draw solar system in your notebook. Second one is the same side of of the moon faces the earth at all times. Why? You have to write answer. And the third one is. Why is the earth called a unique planet? Why is earth called as a unique planet? You have to write answer for these two questions and also draw solar system in your notebook. So children, that's all for today. I hope you understood all the different things we studied today. Next class we will start a new chapter. So thank you very much. Have a good day.